Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Rose Colored Roll in the building! Hell yeah. Yeah. Yes! Hell yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining. We we discovered you about two or three weeks ago, been hooked ever since. If someone has never heard uh heard your music before or know uh are aware of you guys, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are and plug or promote anything you'd like. Yeah, I appreciate you. First off, thank you for finding us. Oh, well, there goes my camera. Okay. <laughs> no worries. We're gonna just we're gonna just Oh yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Um, Take two. Tried to be all professional, you know, and that's what happens. Um, I'm Addison, and this is Ray. We're a band called Rose Colored World. We live in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm original from, originally from New York and raised from Florida. What part of Florida? I'm from Florida. I'm from West Palm. I like West Palm. You're from West Palm also? Yeah, dude. Dude, I went to Gardens High School. I went to Park Vista. This is crazy. What do you know? Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. What, what brought I you guys to, to California and did you know each other before meeting or in California? No. No. So I moved to LA uh, about nine years ago for music. I originally signed a publishing deal. We were both solo artists and um, I met Ray. How long were you here? Um, so I had moved in August of 2017 and six weeks after I moved here, I met Addison at a bar in Hollywood. Okay. Hell yeah. It should be mentioned it was on the night that Tom Petty passed away, which was just oh, so man. crazy. I remember he had a uh, the show at the Hollywood Bowl like a couple weeks before that and I was I was gifted a ticket yeah. and I couldn't go and now it like forever haunts me that that I couldn't go to that oh, concert. Damn. Dang. Uh well we we recently uh, checked out Spit Spit Me Out and it's I mean I checked on YouTube it's getting like 150 views an hour right now, which is incredible. Uh, it's, it's such oh, a wow. catchy, catchy. Yeah. I had this like count, timer counter thing and I could see like how many views an hour every video is getting. And it says it's getting 149 views an hour, which is outstanding. That's insane. So kudos to you That's guys. Crazy. Um, man, this is, this is cool. This is a fun one. Uh, what, what inspired the writing for that track? Do you want me to? Yeah, go ahead. So uh, we were going through a friend breakup. And this was a friend that we thought was going to be in our life forever. You know, like one of those homies where you're like through anything. And it just so happened that we had to part ways and it was really painful. And we had a session already lined up to go. And I almost canceled the session because I was just in my own way and just dealing with shit. And we showed up anyway. And the producer picked up a guitar and was like, so how are you guys feeling? And we're just like, we're really fucking this at our, at our homie. And um, it just kind of came out. Yeah. And now, like, after it's all said and done and we're focusing on um, the next single, I feel like this song is helping people, which is super important. Like the comments we're getting. Um so that's what's been blowing me personally away. I know Ray too, but yeah, the the cool thing is like when you can go through something really not so great and then it helps other people that are maybe going through something not so great. And then, you know, without us even personally knowing people were helping them, which is like the coolest thing in the world. Who's, who's the producer that you work with in LA? So, uh, all the songs except Spit Me Out is we produced ourselves. Uh, this was the first time we worked with someone else. His name's Hiram Hernandez. Um, yeah, we wrote that song in one day and that was it. Hell yeah. My uh, my co-host today is JB, AKA JB Music. Uh, JB, what question do you have yeah. for them before, up, I, before I play uh, Spit Me Out so everybody can hear it? Right on, it's a pleasure to meet you both. Thank you guys so much for being on. Um, I'm also from uh, S Southern California, but I live over by Bakersfield area. But I, my stomping grounds is Hollywood. So I was wondering, which bar were you guys hanging out um, when you guys first met? It was a bar that actually is now only open for filming. They after were open COVID. on the weekends. They oh, they are? Yeah, Sassafras on Hollywood and Vine. Oh, okay. You can only film there now? Yeah. You can't go get a beer anymore? Well, Ray just said that they're open on the weekend. Yeah, I think they're open on the weekends now. But um, if you Google it, apparently, we didn't know. It's like 
super haunted. Yeah, there's, oh, weird. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta Google look into this. This is awesome. Hollywood bar. Do, do you guys like like horror movies and, and stuff that's creepy and spooky? I used to. We don't do. We don't. We don't bring it. We don't want to bring that into our life. I like, feel like it, life in and of itself is already spooky and crazy. I don't know if I need more of it. Definitely, we definitely <laughs> like suspense and drama and you know, kind of mental stuff. But the straight up horror stuff. Horror. 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 <laughs> the, horror. New, the New Yorker like coming out. Horror. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's the uh, horror. Did you guys bring uh, any hot sauce? We didn't. Uh, the only hot sauce I have is sriracha. That works. That works. If you're down if you're down to grab it, I would like to do some trivia with you. But the thing is, you get to pick the trivia topic. I want to know, can you guys what agree on... What happens with this hot sauce? Just do like a little swig of sriracha in your mouth. And if I can't stump you, I will pick... A very hot hot sauce of these 15 I have right here. I'll pick one of the hotter ones. So I, I get hit with the torture instead. But, uh, okay, okay. Ray, what, Ray, what movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. That is more the TV. Don't movie put this guy. on me. It is true. <laughs> I'm more like, all right, we got our big bottle. Excellent. Excellent. Wait, what's up? I feel like we can't do friends. Like, well, I what? didn't hear what. Oh, so okay, I'm so I'll like, repeat it. So uh, I'm gonna. You can suggest a movie or TV show, but if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you've seen it so many times that you will not get stumped. Oh, then we should probably do. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that thing you do. Yes. First of all, I love that movie. That movie is amazing. Yeah. Tom my Hanks second, kills it, and the soundtrack favorite. is fire. Of all time. It really is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Well, give me a second to look up some hard trivia on it. Let's jam. Spit spit me out. Yeah. Guys, if you enjoy the music, please support Rose Colored World. Hit the subscribe button on their YouTube. Go over on Spotify. Hit the follow button. Support Let's them. Go. So did it start with the producer playing acoustic like that? That like that riff right there we're hearing? Uh, What, what was your question? Like that right there, it has like an acoustic riff in the background. Is that kind of an example of what um, the producer started with when you guys were writing the song? He started with the opening riff. Okay. Yeah, that kind of like TBS make damn sure, you know, riff. Yeah. That seems like it's up your up your alley, your style. Like uh, Taking Back Sunday meets like My Couple Romance, like that kind of vibe, which is totally my vibe too. Right? Yeah, Hell. yeah, me too. I grew up on Long Island, where TBS is from, so they hold a heavy, you know, uh, right. inspiration on me. I understand. Heavy place in your heart. Well, let's see if we can stump you on a little that thing you do trivia. <laughs> and that's the wrong button. This would be the right button. <laughs> there we go. Regarding the trivia, here we go. Before they're called the Wonders or the Oneeders, what name does Jimmy want to give the band? The Whore Me. Wait, 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 don't. It's the, uh, is it the Horseman? Before, I thought it was Amigos. No, That's not right. No, it's, hold on. <laughs> the Four. They're talking about it at the diner. You're so close. I am. Hold on. The, uh... Fuck! Uh... <laughs> that says the... That says the Oneaters. What does he say before? Turns over the paper. Fuck! It does start with an H. Uh. Okay. So you're on the right track. It's not the Horseman. It's the... Do you have it in no, you? No, I don't have it in me. I'm gonna be so pissed when you say it. <laughs> I think that's what officially a stump right there. The stump. answer is Herdsman. Oh, oh so close. He wants to call him Jimmy, Jimmy and the Herdsman. So my friend, enjoy the sriracha. Swig of sriracha now. Don't worry, I'll still do a big swig of Japanese dragon's breath hot sauce, so I'm still game with you. Yeah, just How about we switch just, off each time. Yeah, just put like a little <laughs> bit in there. You don't have to go crazy or anything. <coughs> You want water? No, I don't need water. But now it makes the, Damn, the, the interview a little more difficult. 
Because we're all suffering. Ah. What are you guys playing? What hot sauce are you using? Well, I have I have a plethora right here. But um, to make it fair, oh, I grabbed wow, a semi wow. a semi hot one. Japanese dragon's breath is Ooh. what I have. Oh, you never want the you never want the dragon's breath from the Japanese dragons. Whew. It's spicy. <laughs> Got a little kick to it. Uh, JB, what will be another question that you have for uh, for the band? So coming up, uh, do you guys have any uh, any plans on maybe performing here in the future, or do you have any shows lined up that you're able to tell us? So we we went on tour last year, and then our last show before the new year, we sold out the Troubadour, which was amazing uh, Hell for us. And, and thank, thank you. you. So our our main thing that we're doing is we're in the middle of building our own event that's going to be a, a rose colored world evening. Um, and we're putting it together with a bunch of our friends, you know, that all believe in our project. And then we want to take that show on the road. Um, but we're, we're still open and talking about, you know, opening spots on tour, but that's what we're focusing on locally right now. Do you have any, any, uh, goals that you can tell us about for 2023? I mean, obviously you're, you're talking about that event, but beyond that, like going all the way to the end of the year, just personal goals for the band. Yeah, I mean, last year we were successful of putting out a single every six to eight weeks in 2022, which um, that consistency really started to, you know, draw people in, which is really exciting and actually hear the music and um, have something to talk about. And this year, our plan is to do one, maybe even a month um, and then follow that up with an EP probably in the later summer, fall. Um, and I mean, we have so much music. It's just kind of like now figuring out whatever's next, you know, and then building the world around each one visually and sonically. But uh, we have a ton kind of. Yeah, we, we have the next two mapped out. So next month we're dropping a song called Bloodbath. Um, and then we have a song called Better Days, which uh, is more of like an acoustic build epic type of thing. Yeah, like one of the, the classic pop punk ballad type, you know, awesome type moments. Hell yeah. yeah. Bloodbath sounds like it's yeah. going to be going to be heavy and aggressive. Yeah, Bloodbath definitely goes there. I I'd want it to be in UFC because I'm a huge fan. <laughs> oh, really? Cool. Who's your favorite UFC fighter? Oh, wow. Okay. That's a tough one. Currently, I mean, the, I mean, McGregor's your favorite. that's the guy that like got me in, you, you know, 6 7 years ago. Um, but currently, I don't know. I'm I love so many of the fighters uh, i'm excited for john jones's return yeah me too just announced yesterday um his last chance yeah, i don't know can't, can't screw up john, anymore john I love, sean, I love sean o'malley i was just about to bring him up yeah sean o'malley so sean o'malley's dope he represents i liked the... patty the baddie until fight week last time and he like totally turned me off yeah yeah he's okay uh, i like uh i like i miss kimbo even though he wasn't in UFC for very yeah. long, but I, I miss Kimba. Yeah, rest in peace, Kimba. R.I.P. Let's say hypothetically, it's March. You're doing the every six to eight weeks single. All of a sudden, label comes calling, and they give you the craziest signing bonus of your life. I mean, it's so much money you can take care of your families back home, and you have a lot left over. What is the first toy you're buying for yourself? Wow. You're splurging, you're going I'm crazy buying, on yourself. I think I'm buying a vintage C12 microphone for us. I feel like I would buy studio gear first. Yeah, what would you buy? You invest in your career. That's awesome. This is going to sound very Peace Corps of me, <laughs> <laughs> but like I, I don't need much. I just like uh, to be happy, healthy, and to be able to make my music. So I feel like there's a lot of homelessness in LA. I'd want to definitely spend a chunk kind of right off the bat um but what would helping. be a, a toy for you that you would buy a toy for, so i'd the, probably buy a grand piano okay. i could see myself buying a, a nice classic grand piano because i've been playing keys since i'm 12 and uh i just feel like that would be amazing to yeah, have that would be sick, and yeah. just to be able to write on every day very cool i have and, the i have and i think i'd buy a 57 chevy bel air there Sorry you go you that's the toy i'm looking for right there excellent <laughs> JB, what's uh, what's another question you have for the band? And I have another trivia question ready regarding that thing you do. But first, JB. 
my, my my next question has to be when it comes to just your life if if you were able to go anywhere right now to go you know write an ep or just have a vacation just to clear your mind what spot in this world would you go you want to say it on three one no two, oh yeah three. hawaii, hawaii. <laughs> I love how you both oh, do. Yeah. You, so you've never been to Hawaii, either one of you? No, not yet. I had such a pull to go before the pandemic, though, and then the world, you know, did its thing, and then we got momentum with the project. But it's like somewhere that I know we're gonna create a lot and just play For and sure. have a great time. So, have you been? Have you either of you been to Hawaii? I I have been to Hawaii. I was like thirteen or fourteen though when I went. Um, and okay. I had a blast. Okay. I had a blast. So you're due. What's up? I said, so you're due for a Hawaii trip as well. Uh, yeah, I'm due for one. It'd be cool if you guys could set up like a, like a gig there. And that's the reason you have to go. So they have to cover your, like your travel costs and stuff. And yeah, like, and you're sure. like, oh, well, hey, can you just fly us yeah. out like three days after the gig, and then you just work in the vacation? Yeah, we got it. We'll bring. We got to get you on the team over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got ideas for days. I got you. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna give you a little bit of an easier one, because I do want to spin the wheel for you. This is your second trivia question for that thing you do. <laughs> there was a drummer in the band before. I don't know the Shades. I think his name is. I'm kind of just going off my head on this one. But what what does the original drummer jump over to break his arm? A parking meter. That is correct. Give me a hell yeah. All right. That is correct. What's this? So I'm going to go with a tense, intense garlic because my mouth's still stinging. And we're going to call that <laughs> one. We're going to call that one. Oh, and a bong rip. <laughs> yeah, do you have the weed? Yeah. Are we allowed to smoke on this? You're gonna yes, watch, you're gonna go. watch me do it right now, so give me a hell yeah, let's go. Give me a hell yeah. Me a hell yeah. Cool. <laughs> let's do it. Plus, while, while we're packing up, while we're sparking, let's jam. Uh, is there a particular song that you guys would like us to play as a second song? Have you heard Torn in Two? I don't think so. I think it's upstairs. That's yeah, the that's one? My, I love that. Yeah. Is there a video? Yes, there is. Okay. Let me go with the video instead. I love the visual. Yeah, we do a video for every song. Well played. We were never meant to... Jamie, we got time for maybe a couple more. What's uh, another question or two that you have uh, for them? I'm taking a hit. What's the... My bad. <laughs> <laughs> my, my question is, do you guys have, like, everyday jobs, or is music your full income at the moment? Uh, so, no, we don't um, have other jobs. Um, we thank, you know, God that we also work in, like, syncs, so we get syncs with our music. Um, and then we also do film production uh, we do location management for like big music videos. So going to the sync thing for a second, we have like a separate project that's electro pop. That's nothing like this with our friend from the UK named Dave Green, who's in also a rock band called the Filthy Souls and they rip, by the way. But this other project uh, we did in the pandemic because we couldn't play live and we were like, you know, really itching to be creative. And so us three just kind of drank a bunch of White Claws and started writing uh, some some electro pop tunes. And it turns out that we've gotten like five or six syncs last year, meaning like placements in commercials or movies or, or things like that um, with that. So that has been helping fund what we do. Yeah, and it's starting to pick up, which is amazing because we wrote them like two years ago. So we have a batch of like 40 songs that we did during the pandemic, we got together with Dave every single day. And yeah, for like months. Wrote a song, produced it, finished, moved on. So did, did Dave uh, push yeah. push the singles, or did you guys go through like a site like Taxi or something to to get the placement? So we we have like a few different non exclusive sync deals uh, with with companies. Hell yeah! Wait a wait a hustle. Wait a wait a That's, yeah, hustle. That's what I'm That's talking dope. about. That's what I'm talking about. It took a while. 
you know, we've been out here a minute, but like you fit, if you want it bad enough, you figure out how to make yeah, it. Yeah. And it, cause it's just so hard to, you know, have a full-time job and then be able to create, you know, we're, we're doing things for the band as if it's a full-time job, right? Like we schedule, we have our meetings. What do we have to get done? We give ourselves our own deadlines and, um, yeah, we just kept our head down. This whole year, we said we're not going to look at a single number when we started, right? And just keep doing it. Just keep pushing it. Keep putting it out. And, you know, a bunch of little steps add up. That's what and it like, is. Like, for example, like, lead us to you guys. Yeah, you know, Which is yeah. so crazy. I'm glad it happened. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, final question for you guys before we let you go. We appreciate your time so much. Uh, what is What is a piece of musical advice that somebody's given you that was kind of like an eye opener for your career or completely separate question or a terrible mistake you don't want any band that's just starting up to make that maybe you made? Uh, I'll say the advice one uh, while you're- I'll do the other one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> advice one, my dad is a drummer still. He plays in like a cover band in South Florida uh, called uh, big city dogs. Shout out big city dogs. Big city dogs. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and my dad told me at a young age that nothing beats stage time. And the amount of time that you're on a stage and feeling comfortable and doing it is just like how you get great at doing it. And that's when I started gigging was super young. And now it feels like home every single time. But there, I think that's the biggest piece of advice. Just like con consistently get out there and, and just I want to do piggyback what off of what you're saying because yeah. in a world where rock has come back right which is like so beautiful and it's great but like a lot of these people and this isn't to shade them it's like they don't know how to play live mm -hmm. so my advice is is like it's great to like do this whole internet thing and it's amazing for so many reasons but like get in your garage put your band together like play you know there's nothing like doing that and that's why i do it like i love doing this stuff we love yeah you know making exactly. our content and all that but what drives us is those 40 minutes under the lights you know where mm -hmm. nothing exists except the show um so yeah that's advice but yeah. the mistake i i think i would say is don't sign away your masters or publishing when you're starting like you don't understand what that is yet you know um unless somebody's offering you six figures more and and it's tough <laughs> right it's tough like when i moved more. here and offered like more. 20k mm -hmm. i was like oh my god right and i like signed a pub deal i'm out of it now but like you don't know what you're signing and 20k when you're 21 seems like you're fucking rich forever and it's really not that much you know right no it's that's great advice and uh from both of you great advice uh it was it was an absolute pleasure having you on i can't believe this is one of the fastest interviews we've we've and damn near live you hopped in the day we we checked out the song you guys were like hell yeah blah blah, blah. then we set it up right away so i appreciate it i i only live about an hour and a half away so Please inform me next time you're playing. I live in like the Victorville area, which is like on the way to okay. Vegas, on the way to Vegas. Uh, and then JB's in California also. So let us know. We'll bring a bunch of friends out, come support. Uh, just let yes. me know like a little bit in advance and we'd love to be there and buy some merch and do whatever we can to support you guys. Yeah, we really appreciate you guys. I'm so happy that we met you. Wait, JB, have you ever been to something called School Night at Bardot? Do you know what that is? It's in Hollywood at, Ava at the Avalon over there. I've been to Avalon a bunch, um, but not school yeah, I, night. I, I, Sorry. I've been to Avalon, yeah. Yeah, definitely. school night's tonight. No, but how, he lives in Bakersfield. Oh, I thought, no, I thought JB lives in Hollywood, though. We see no. him in Hollywood uh, all the time. He's there all the time. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm performing oh, yeah. there February 3rd with the Cottonmouth King, so if you guys want to come out, I can give you tickets at the Whiskey. Yo, hit us up. Yeah, DM us. Wait, We're... February 3rd, you said we'll be here. Yeah. We'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hell I'll yeah. Be here. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. That'll be awesome. We'll, we'll all hang out. Kings, dude. Yeah, he's, open, he's, he's open for the yeah, Cottonmouth Kings. It's going to be fun. The whiskey, a go-go. That's amazing. Congrats. Yeah, go. Congrats. Thank JB. you. Thank you. Um, Send us your music, too. I'd love to hear what you're, you're doing, man. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll hit you guys up for sure.
Um, such a pleasure, guys. Yeah, much love, everybody. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank you both so much. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed their music, guys, please hit the follow button. Go on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Either one, both. Doesn't matter, but please, please do that. Thank you guys so much. Rose Colored Rock! Give me a hell yeah! Yes! You guys have a fantastic day. Thank you, thank you.